the Office of Surface Mining began recognizing outstanding mine reclamation in 1986. Since then, more than 180 mines have received awards. These operations inspire the entire industry and help establish the high standards of on-the-ground mine reclamation that exist today. The 2005 winners continue to demonstrate innovation, dedication, and stewardship. In 1998, the Peabody Western Coal Company began developing a grazing management program on reclaimed lands. They met with Native American stakeholders and evaluated data that would help establish management guidelines for livestock grazing. By 2004, 18 families were grazing livestock on 3,700 acres of pasture. This exemplary program returns reclaimed land to its traditional use long-term grazing, a use that's vitally important to the local population. The Red River Coal Company's innovative techniques helped eliminate more than 4,800 feet of dangerous abandoned high walls during mining. Red River also worked with Virginia Tech, testing reforestation techniques for reclaimed land. Different mixtures of trees and soil preparation were tested, as well as methods of applying herbicides to control competing vegetation around tree seedlings. We now know more about restoring mine lands to native hardwood forests and the lessons learned here are already being employed in the reforestation of Virginia coal fields. Innovative reclamation at the Delta Mine resulted in varied topography as well as a variety of land uses. The 3,800-acre area integrates cropland with forests, lakes, and wildlife habitat, providing viable long-term land use for this rural Illinois community. The reclamation plan at the Rosebud Mine was modified to preserve the valuable habitat provided by pre-mined topographic features. By leaving a large area above the final cut untouched, regrading the reclaimed land minimized disturbance and reduced the area of the final high wall. More than 5,000 mature ponderosa pine trees and associated plant and animal species were saved. Although still in the final stages of reclamation, the preservation of native slopes, sandstone cliffs, and established forest has created a reclaimed mine site that is already characteristic of the surrounding Montana landscape. This 90-acre coal mining and reclamation operation had been previously mined and contained more than a mile of unreclaimed high walls. Today, the abandoned mine hazards are eliminated and the landowner is harvesting hay from the site. Permanent ponds were constructed, fences were built, and farm roads now interconnect the fields. By working closely with the landowner, 
the mine has been returned to productive, long-term agricultural use. The attention to detail represents special dedication and has resulted in reclamation at the highest levels. This wetland area, more than 80 acres, was once a coal wash slurry deposit. Today it includes 20 acres of permanently impounded water and surrounding wildlife habitat. The reclamation was a cooperative effort by the mining company and the International Union of Operating Engineers. Buildings used during the mining now house an apprenticeship and training program. Both the wetlands and adjacent training center are valuable assets to the community. Excellent examples of a reclaimed site offering more than before it was mined. The Spring Creek Mine is located where rainfall is only 10 inches. This makes both mining and reclamation more difficult. Today, native vegetation has been re-established by a unique combination of grading and seed mixtures. It took a thorough understanding of local topography to sculpt features that would support diverse vegetation, providing both a wildlife habitat and livestock grazing. Highly productive habitat is a critical part of reclamation in arid parts of the country. This project is a great example for other operations throughout the West. The 2005 Director's Award honors innovation, leading to greater efficiency and superior reclamation. The Seminole One Mine shrub success greatly exceeds regulatory goals and standards. The new methods established shrubs, grasses, and forbs. Specific habitat features were constructed. The results? livestock grazing and wildlife habitat in arid Wyoming conditions. Each year, Three Good Neighbor Awards are presented for outstanding relationships with mine neighbors. Native Americans have a special relationship with the land. Post-mining livestock grazing at the Cayenta Black Mesa Complex supports a traditional way of life with cultural ties going back hundreds of years. Peabody worked with local residents, establishing educational and grazing management programs. Together, they proved that land reclaimed for grazing is both achievable and sustainable. At Black Beauty, being a good neighbor means involvement with surrounding communities and governmental agencies, including schools. The company runs educational mine site activities and has provided needed improvements at a local high school. It's installed lights at local baseball fields and constructed an entrance road for a new town park. It has also built a cemetery monument and donated land to construct a treatment plant for the town of Farmersburg. Black Beauty proves that coal mining, combined with good neighbor spirit, results in valuable benefits for everyone involved.
North Antelope Rochelle Mine, the world's largest coal mine, producing nearly 82.5 million tons of sub-bituminous coal in 2004. It's also a good neighbor to the surrounding community. Frequent demonstrations at the mine site and educational school tours have taught hundreds of children about modern Powder River Basin mining and reclamation. The company has been the major contributor to the Thunder Basin Grasslands Prairie Ecosystem Association and actively works to increase awareness about stewardship of Wyoming's natural resources. The good neighbor policies at these three mine operations are beginning to be accepted as the way for mine operations to do business. They're shining examples of this growing trend. All of these projects are team efforts made possible by dedicated, skilled professionals, mine managers, reclamation specialists, engineers, and equipment operators. We all thank you for your exemplary work and for raising the levels of environmental excellence.